We all have an opportunity to enjoy a great hockey game and support our first responders at the same time. Noemi Haidt and Jessica Dieter are here to tell us how we're able to do that. Ladies, thank you so much for coming in. Thank Thanks you for, for having us. us. Uh, this is such a great opportunity for all of us to kind of do both of those things. But Jessica, tell me about the event. So with the event, we'll be hosting next Friday, or Friday, <laughs> November 10th, uh -huh. and we will be having different first responder vehicles out present for the kids to come enjoy. We'll be also honoring, we'll have Martha McSally there to help us do the national anthem. So we're extremely excited that she's able to come and join us with that. We'll have an honor guard and lots of different first responder related elements all throughout the game to really honor and recognize them for all that they do for us. And of course, we're talking about the Roadrunners. If somebody has not gone out to see one of the games, <laughs> you are seriously missing out. And I'm seeing here who we're playing. Uh, we don't have to worry about them because we already know the Roadrunners are going to take. Hey, they're uh, doing good this yeah. year. They're <laughs> winning. Okay. They are doing good. So, of course, like you said, we're going to have a lot of stuff going on before the game, uh, a lot of stuff all throughout uh, okay. the game that yes. people could. So this is very family friendly. This is a very family friendly event. We want to encourage children to come to the event as well to be there, see the different games that are going on, even possibly meet some of the hockey players after the game. So want it to be a family orientated thing as well. And we're talking about it today because people can get their tickets right now, right? Yes, they are available online. We do have them right at our website if you go to erickitefoundation.org and there's a link right there for you to be able to go and purchase your tickets. Now that's great that we go to this uh, website, of course, uh, to get our tickets. While we're on that website, we can learn a lot about the foundation and where this money is going to be going, right? Yes, yeah, definitely. Um, the 100% of what we raised that night through the ticket sales, through uh, the 50-50 raffle that is going to be happening the night um, of the event. Any donations or anything that we uh, raise that night will go straight to the child care program. Tell me more. Yeah, tell me more about the program and exactly where our dollars go. Yeah, um, 100 percent, like I said, goes straight to our child care program mm -hmm. that provides um, extended hours and affordability to our first responders families. Currently serving 26 different um, departments and agencies in southern Arizona. Um, exciting to have over 65 children on a daily basis at our center. Um, about 100 families that we serve um, on a monthly basis. And uh, just to keep the, the cost, you know, lower to all these families uh, to provide the child care, um, closing, you know, late at night, serving six days a week, and just strictly to um, accommodate that shift work that they have. You know, when we say support first responders, there's a lot of layers yes. uh, to that. And, and uh, the Eric Height Foundation and the program is very unique in the way that you guys, of course, help them in such an extended way. But it means the world, I know, to those families. Yes, it does. It does. We are the only program in the nation that is providing currently um, doing some um, advising through other counties and states to start a program like this uh, just because there's so many families that um, first responders that serve us and they don't have family around them yeah. you know to help them to raise their children um, and so th we become yeah. their family yeah and uh, a unique group that uh, that we're creating within our, our program so well and that's what I said this evening is going to give us that opportunity to help you to help yes, then uh, it, it's all kind of a big community event and thanks to of course to the Roadrunners uh, for opening up a, a family night for this you guys thank you so much for telling me uh, about more about the program and of course how we can get involved I'm going to remind them how they can get those tickets <laughs> in the night of course you guys thank you again one more time thank, thank you, you. For us. oh absolutely the Tucson Roadrunners first responders night is taking place next Friday at 7 p.m. at the Tucson Arena with portions of the ticket sales going to support the Eric Height Foundation. To learn more, visit ericheightfoundation.org or you can call 495-0430.